okay so i have this test cases ready with me i have one before method in which i am going to launch the driver i am going to launch the browser i have three test cases and in after method i have quit method where i'm going to close my browser and in, in later I'm, I'm going to add some more co uh, code for creating reports and creating defects automatically in after method now how to create a, how to create it at a test ng uh, just right click on your project you will find option as test ng and just select convert to test ng it will create a test ng file for you okay can you see here it has generated test ng xml for you okay and since here i have only one class system has picked that one class only if you need any updates you can do that manually okay so you can see it, uh, the location where it will save is you can just browse or just keep the default location i just want to rename the test ng file okay so this is my test ng file if you want to do further changes here like if you want to run your test cases in parallel mode you can select the your parallel mode if you want to run methods parallel your classes or test parallelly and if you if you are using this parallel mode you need to give the thread count how many threads how many threads it should run then click on finish and here you will find your test ng dot xml is generated if i open this test ng dot xml you can find it has only one class right that's what i have i have only one class test class one that is test class one okay now i want if i want to run all test cases from this test class one i'll just right click on test ng dot xml and run as test ng suit it will run all three test cases for me it is starting chrome driver Okay, you can see it has launched automationtalks.com and it will get a title and it will complete the test case. Okay, so here you can see it has written the title that is test case 1 is executed. Okay, so likewise it will execute test 2 and test 3. But again, if my project is a Maven project, I will not go and execute this test xml. Okay, what I will execute? I will execute this pom.xml because that's the main in that's the main heart of your maven project huh? so if i go to this form.xml and if you scroll down at the bottom here you can see i have mentioned somewhere configuration suit xml files and here is the xml file which i want to run right so it is testng.xml okay since it is a main folder there is no path requirement only file name if it is in some within folder within folder then you have to specify that particular path right so now onwards we will not be executing testng.xml we will be executing pom.xml let me close this now how to execute pom.xml right click on your project and run as now it will give you option as maven okay so you, we need to use maven test for us so if I select my one test, we have different goals actually in my one. So I'll talk about those goals in coming session of my one. So now it will it will it will start building the project. You can see now it is uh, executing some plugins. You can see my one resources plugin, compiler plugin. Then we have Surefire plugin. Now the test execution has started, right? So this is the ideal way how we can execute the test cases of your maven project
okay so it will execute couple of test cases more so this is my test automation framework let us say okay uh, let me close this okay so now I have the, this is this demo project one is for UI test cases okay and on the similar line I have created one framework for my API test cases as well which I am not going to talk on this but what I am going to do here is I am going to execute the projects or let us say test cases in sequence like first I will execute my API test cases and then I will execute my uh, UI test cases which I just created okay so like like this I am going to create one pipeline first I will execute my uh, first I will push my code then I will scan this code then I will execute my API test cases then I will execute my UI test cases and the test case execution can be with like local or it can be with selenium grid parallel test execution or it can be cloud execution it can be a on docker okay so that is what all we are going to talk in coming sessions but but these are my two projects ready first one is ui project and second one is my api project okay what i have in my api project is one simple test case only one test case where i am going to verify the response okay that, that that's nothing much i'm just going to verify the response but i i just want to show how we can have the projects in pipeline okay so likewise if you have many many projects like if you have your uh, database test cases or s something like that then you can have that as well or again it's it's up to you you can have all the things into the single project and you can schedule uh you can schedule the classes in test engine.xml based, based on your need or you can have different projects itself that's up to you okay so these are the projects which we will be working on okay so uh, that's all is done so if you want you can you can you can have this load test performance test database test okay uh, about creating this extent report i'll be talking in coming videos for now we have the default report of this uh, selenium which uh, sorry test ng which is this email email report.html it is not that much attractive but that's the default report by test ng okay so this extent report is quite uh, more advanced enhanced version in which we can see good ui good graphs and all so that your stakeholders can uh, understand easily what's the percentage of test cases executed and all, many more things okay so that's all for this video in coming video we will be talking much on github maven and many devops tools thank you